kind of want to know what happens if we the take, the, take the mech out of her, but oh well. Moving on. Alright, we have red rum, Taylor is asleep. Julia is going to be pissed we took so long. <laughs> Stump and Bigfoot. Um, I guess I can't go in there. Or there. Can't we just go in? Can't go in any. Will bang for Jesus or what? Fucking hippie. <laughs> oh, this is my room. All right. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. I want to I wanna keep looking around, see if I can see anything interesting. <laughs> Nerd. Whatever. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Not a bad room. So, oh, this is where we took the photo before. Interesting. And we have a and a message from mom. No. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, at least she's understanding. Cookies. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a two hundred dollar gift certificate. Wow. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Yeah, you're telling me. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Okay. Posters, clothes. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. We can play the guitar. I want to hear this. Is it just going to repeat or something? Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's just going to be repeating it. All right, I'm done. Moving on up, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a book. There's what's that? Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Gotta admit, I do like analog. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. <sighs> All right. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Huh. I do like the mirror effects, that's pretty cool. Do we have a limited amount of photos we can take or just everything? Don't have time to lay down. Max and Chloe, 
Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. What? I don't get it. That's what we were just playing, but not as good. What else? Let's go find this other person. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. <laughs> Welcome right, so. to the real drama queens of Blackwell. So who am I looking for? Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Um. Oh, fuck. Uh. You know what? It doesn't matter. Uh. Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. Juliet By the way, Watson. Juliet Watson. Okay. Aha! Hey, Juliet. The power to control oh, time. I've watched. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You hmm. could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria, huh? She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Okay. No. So I have to go find the quarterback, I guess. This stuff we can't actually have to do, by the looks of it, yeah. No need to go there now. Oh. oh I didn't even notice this round here. Can't even go that way. Um. Oh. We can go into Victoria's room. Pretty little bitch. Alright. Why are we in here exactly? Tablet. Let's use it. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Whoa. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Um... Oh, there we go. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Was I quick enough? She didn't see me? Good. Juliet, read this. Of 
horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Oh, good. So we actually had to do that. <laughs> I thought that was like a side quest or something. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. What? Um... <laughs> Okay. Can kids these days, am I right? This is both sad and pathetic. Kind of want to know what happens when I look at That looks like a home pregnancy test. I'm interested. I can always reverse time. Well, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. Okay, I let's wind and make it up to her. Yeah, I guess. Let's not do that. Um instead let's speak. Hey, Dana. Seriously. Thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. I heard a rumor about you. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. Oh. What about the other? That beat dad? You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Kind of want to know, but it's not Sorry my to business. Cry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. <laughs> anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Yeah, I think that went down quite nicely. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> Fucking nerd. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fuck off, Warren. Right, parking lot. All right. Let's go find this Warren person. Fuck this shit. Ow, that hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Wait, what? Why? Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit. Damn it. Okay. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. What is the Vortex Club? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. I don't know what this Vortex Club is, it's... Who is this? Oh, this is Zachary. <laughs> lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. 
I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Poor Juliet. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Oh, hey, buddy, sup, sup. I can't go speak to her. Oh, okay. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. We could take a photo or intervene. I'm going to intervene because taking a photo just seems hey, a bit. Why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Hey, you do that. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. What was that even about? I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No. Who gives a fuck about that guy? Unless he tries to kill me, then it's a big deal. But he, he ain't gonna try and kill me, right? Right? I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. It. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Hmm. Gotta be left for our friends, you know. It's... I mean, I hope she's our friend. Come over here, please. Oh, shush. Yeah. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life damn girl you had it like a year or a week i did browse through all the titles drama queen ha ha make sure you watch cannibal holocaust no fucking way will i watch that my mind is twisted enough <laughs> i laughed my ass off so you're sensitive ouch that sounds awful the way you say it What is with that top answer? Faster pussycat kill kill what? I don't... Is that a line from the film? Hmm... Fuck it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. 
Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an Fucking absolute this week. But you seem distracted. I don't want to speak about it. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm no, fuck. What does he want? What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw. Now. Answer me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh shit. Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Ow. <laughs> Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! 